Hello everyone and welcome to Alta 3. My name is Tim Patrick and today we're going to be going over Ubuntu 22.04, otherwise known as Jammy Jellyfish. It's the latest release of the Ubuntu operating system here for uh, us wonderful power users who love Linux, etc. Good stuff. In any case, we've got a bit to go over as there's some big changes for quality of life stuff, but also some more practical things we need to go over as well as some setup and workarounds for some common Ubuntu 22.04 questions like why isn't OS Prober working? Why is it disabled by default? Don't worry, we'll be talking about all of that. So stay tuned as we get right on into it. All right, everybody, I am running uh, jammy on a brand new virtual machine that I went ahead and put it up through VirtualBox using the image provided. This is the release candidate uh, that we wanted to get a hold of so we can show some things off for you before it gets its official release on April the 21st. And naturally, the first thing I have to show you, I think the first thing anyone has to show is how heavy is this operating system? So I already took the liberty of installing HTOP and as we can see here, without running anything else whatsoever, we are sitting at about 766 megabits of RAM that is being used. Uh, otherwise, it's fairly lightweight in terms of CPU utilization at about 2%. Um, not quite too heavy, a bit lighter would be a preferred for me. Now, however, I do need to make mention of this because this is insane. Uh, Ubuntu has made a version of this operating system that is suitable for Raspberry Pis. So be sure to take a look at that. But in any case, it runs fairly light. Awesome. So let's go ahead and say you guys just got started. You just installed Ubuntu 22.04 and you want to go ahead and take a few initial first steps towards making sure the operating system is good for your use. As always, I do think it's a good idea to quickly run a sudo apt update because there could have been some changes to the software since you grabbed your image. As we can see, the update completed, and we are now good to go. So let's get into what's new with version 2204. And the first thing we should probably take a look at is the display settings. This is where this version of Ubuntu got a lot of very, very big changes, and uh, mainly in the appearance section here. Cool thing is, is that we now have a true dark mode that actually carries a dark mode throughout the entire operating system. However, for those of you who like to be blinded by flashlights, we still do have our light mode here uh, available to you as well. But we'll stick with dark for the remainder of this demonstration. And you also get the opportunity to select things like accent colors. These accent colors will actually change. And if I just quickly open up my home directory here, you can see the folders there that the colors will actually change as we select these different accent colors. So customization, yay, good look and feel. I like it. I think we'll go ahead and stick with this somewhat light red color just for our Alta 3 theming here, because why not? And uh, really good stuff there. I really definitely do dig that. The next thing is we got to talk about GNOME 42. GNOME 42 has enabled us to do some really cool things with the operating system that includes um, a sort of less bug experience, less buggy experience here in the uh, show applications menu. Now, um, this used to be vertical, but now it is a horizontal menu and you can swap between everything horizontally. The next big thing is, is that in previous versions, you were not able to reorder your buttons, which is a problem. That's definitely an issue. But if for whatever reason, Solitaire was the most important application to me on my workstation, I can now actually reorder these buttons. Very, very, very nice, very big deal. Uh, and I definitely do like the ability to customize my workstation. 
Uh, and again, we are doing horizontal uh, scrolling. Now, one thing I have noticed is that sometimes it's a bit finicky. It could just be a product of my VM, but you could also just click the left or the right in order to flip between these different panels, okay? So very nice, very easy. The next thing I wanted to show off is the activities page here. Activities is going to show us what's on our different workspaces. Right now, we only have the one workspace, which is the workspace that we have right here, which was showing us our terminal window. If I go ahead and click this little side over here, it will open up a brand new workspace for us, and we can begin setting up a different set of tools, applications, terminal windows, etc., to fit the needs of this particular workspace. Uh, so, for example, we're going to go ahead and open up a browser here. We have our browser open over here now. And when I go back to activities, you can actually see that we have thumbnails at the top that show us what's on each workspace. So let's go ahead and make another workspace over here. And this time I'm going to grab the terminal. And I want to detach the HTOP terminal from this workspace or uh, from the uh from this uh window here and now i want to have this terminal be on its own workspace so now i'm able to actually click and drag this guy to a brand new workspace so i have htop running on one workspace and we'll reorder that so we've reordered this so that our terminal is on the left, our browser is in the middle, and HTOP is in the workspace to the right. And we can navigate these different workspaces at a simple click of a button. Very nice, fun, quality of life stuff that we just didn't have before. Awesome. Now, the next thing I wanted to go ahead and do was just quickly make sure that we understand what our uh, OS release is. And we are indeed running Ubuntu 22.04, Jammy Jellyfish. Very good. And the next thing I wanted to do is just quickly run a Neo Fetch. There we go. Very good. And as you can see, we're running Ubuntu 22.04, VirtualBox 1.2. That is the host. Uh, running a 5.15 kernel. Uh, GNOME 42 is running here as well. Next. Let's go ahead and talk about a few other really fun built-in things in this version of Ubuntu that you're probably not used to having, uh, at least by default, uh, on installation. And that first thing would be Python 3 is actually installed by default, and it's installed at 3.10. It's the 3.10.4 version of Python 3. Very, very, very cool. So you don't have to worry about installing that or updating it that or anything like that. It just comes this way out of the box. All right, everybody. So the next thing we need to talk about is for those of you who like to dual boot, chances are you rely on something called OS Prober. OS Prober is disabled by default on Ubuntu 2204. So therefore, we're going to have to enable it in order to use it. Now, for those who don't know, OS Prober is essentially a command that lists other operating systems it's used during installation and reconfiguration to create a grub boot menu that shows other installed OSs as well. So it's pretty necessary uh, if you are dual booting. In any case, for those of you who use OS Prober, let's go ahead and figure out how we are going to enable this. First thing we need to do is we are going to need to edit a read-only file. So we're going to do a sudo vim, and it's going to be Etsy default. If I could type correctly today, and grub. Okay. Now that we're in this file, we're going to go ahead and simply add a line here. We're going to add grub disable os prober equals false like that and uh, let's make sure we spell everything correctly grub disable os prober equals false brilliant and we're going to be able to write and quit this because we ran it with sudo now that we've done that all we got to do is a sudo update grub and it's going to go ahead and do its thing and when it grabs that configuration file, it's going to make sure that it actually updates properly. OS Prober will be executed to detect other bootable partitions. 
Its output will be used to detect bootable binaries on them and create new boot entries. Done. Brilliant. We have now enabled OS Prober. Very, very good. Happy to do that for you. The next thing is, and this is one of my sort of favorite things to do in Ubuntu, because I wish I had this tool in other operating systems. This tool is just really, really, really good. And that is the new screenshotting tool. You click print screen. I'm sure many of you are used to it, just copying a picture of the screen or maybe saving an image to a file somewhere, depending on what application you're running, etc. But in Ubuntu, we get this really cool screenshotting tool. So for example, if we just really like this logo for whatever reason, we can go ahead and size this up right here appropriately. Beautiful, and we could just take a picture, and now we have the screenshot captured of the Alta 3 Research logo. Really cool. There's other things we could do with this feature, though, including screenshotting the entire screen or calling out a specific window and screenshotting that. You can also, and this is really cool, take a video, and you can see here at the top right that we are indeed recording right now, we're recording a video of my entire screen. Really fun, handy stuff. And when we're done, just click stop. For those of you who like to record your desktop for whatever reasons, maybe demonstrations or instruction, probably a very, very, very handy feature for you. Uh, finally, this is a very, very smart tool. It's a very smart application. If I were to go ahead and say, I want to screenshot this section of my screen here, we'll go ahead and click save, and we'll now navigate to our home directory, and you'll see that that screenshot did not actually capture the screenshot tool. Very good. Now, the next thing I want to show off, and this is fun, is that we can now simply drag and drop from directories onto the desktop. Something that we uh, were not really used to being able to do. Very helpful, now we can do that. And we can arrange these however we'd like. They have a very simple locked grid pattern, and you can place these wherever you would like to place them. Nice new feature from Ubuntu. Very, very nice. Very happy to see it. All right. All right, everybody. That is Ubuntu 2204 Jammy Jellyfish and a very, very brief introduction. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. And I'll see you next time. This video was brought to you by Alta3 Research. We offer training solutions both on-site and online, so you can choose the method that works best for you. If you liked the video, check out the links in the description box below for more information on our course offerings. Please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell below to see more videos, just like this one. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.